chuck is fundamentally an idea which is to mold a waste fiber like sugarcane and uh, then try and uh, put it into shapes which end up uh, being a tableware product. We are making different things like these are some samples of it. Uh, there is uh, things like the bowls, there is containers, there is also plates, there is um, um, trays like this. It's a complete range of uh, products that uh, caters to the needs of the food service industry like the quick services, restaurants, caterers, home, you know, picnics and things. The first part is to buy waste sugar cane, which comes from sugar mills. The sugar mills take out the juice and whatever is left is actually what we buy from the sugar mills. We bring that, we stock for the entire year and we make pulp from that, which is a cooking process and a washing process to make it into a pulp product. And after that, we mold it into different shapes. So that's done in thermoforming machines. There is uh, people like uh, the Indian Railways who have uh, recently decided to move uh, Shatabdi and Rajdhani trains. And uh, we are hopeful that they're going to move all the other trains also because uh, there's a lot of trains which have uh, compartments where people throw things out of. So if these things are thrown, then they'll ultimately become uh, manure. And of course, uh, there is wonderful uh, QSRs who are more sensitive to this cause. Um, people like Haldiram, Right by Foods, uh, there is HMS Force, there is Chai Point. Various companies like that are moving into uh, more degradable solutions as they are more aware and they realize the value of these products. There is, there is two points of uh, comparison. One is in terms of quality. So of course, if you look at our product, even if you look at a large product like this, it is ultimately very sturdy. But the second is about eating safe. Ultimately, you, try, you will try and serve products to a, your family or to customers where you want them to have a meal and not worry about having carcinogens in their body or any other impurities. So the second part is that. The third is the cost. Ultimately, people uh, don't want to pay a higher price for a better product. So in this case, we've tried to price it so that it's pretty competitive in plastic. It is a little more expensive than styrofoam or thermocol. This waste would have been burned if we hadn't uh, used it in these products and that would have generated various uh, gases and stuff. So of course we're using a waste but more important than that is the actual product because the actual product is completely compostable. Every product that we make has to be, one of the guidelines is that it has to be home compostable. Even if it's thrown into open ground, it is going to become manure. It's going to be not even neutral but beneficial for the soil or the earth. And uh, even if there was an animal which was to consume it, say a cow or uh, a marine animal like a fish, there'll be no problems at all. So it's ultimately waste by So both directions are such that it helps the earth. The world generates about 257 million tons of plastic every year. Uh, out of which uh, almost 50% uh, is single-use plastic. And when I say single-use, the average time of usage is only 15 minutes. So, so if you think about it, about 125 million tons of plastic is such that it is only used for 15 minutes. That's the convenience factor. And uh, out of that, almost 8 million tons goes into the ocean. And that is directly going into the ocean through our uh, rivers and uh, things like that. I'm sure there is more that is going in. So that's the kind of impact the plastics have. India is actually the third biggest dumper of plastic into the ocean. Indonesia is actually the biggest. And uh, China is the next and then it's India. So, so there is a huge amount of impact that India is doing. And uh, out of the 8 million tons, I'm told almost a million tons is actually coming from India. The bigger problem that we have in a place like India is that we don't have proper collection and disposal facilities. So we don't really have landfills also because as soon as you say a landfill, it's actually a scientific disposal which doesn't happen in India, it's land dumps. I would say that there is a general trend and government is again being very receptive of it, of realization that plastics need to be handled. Uh, plastic again is an amazing product but ultimately if you don't handle it and it's disposed, then it's going to harm everything, that we, the whole existence itself. So of course and we are seeing that, you know, everywhere around the world there is micro particles in the water, there is uh, plastic being found everywhere else. So, so this whole system where the government is uh, helping by banning plastics is uh, going to be a great uh, benefit and of course people can then get a better product.